and your name is Ashley. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. What part of Brazil are you from? I I'm from in Florianópolis, Santa Catarina. Yeah, Florianópolis. Oh. Have, have, have you ever to Brazil? No, I've never been to Brazil. Uh, but you know, do you know some parts of Brazil, or do you know some people of Brazil? I know some parts of Brazil. I have a lot of students from Brazil. Ah, okay, okay. No, I had I... a student that was trying to convince me to move to Florianópolis. Ah, yeah. Do you, do you have do you have students from Florianópolis? Yeah. Oh, it's great. It's great. Yes. Yes. So, I... what do you do in Florianópolis? I work with developer. I work in a technology company, and I I am trying to improve my English to to try get uh, international projects. You know, for example, from USA or Europe. Uh, I am trying to get some projects from Portugal. You know, because Portugal they speak Portuguese. Portuguese from Portugal, you know, is a little different, but uh, just accent. You know. The, the grammar is the same. You understand? Okay. I heard some words were different too. My my words? In Portugal and Brazil, no. some words were different. Yeah, so, some words is different, but uh, I can understand very well, you know, and they can understand me very well, you know. Uh, for example, some, some words change it, but yeah. we know we knows this these words for example file file is arquivo in portuguese and in portuguese from portugal is a uh, ficheiro you know but we that's under- very different <laughs> yeah, it's very different but we understand this this, this oh. word but in portuguese in normal normal sense doesn't work doesn't uh, use this type this kind of words ficheiro you know but okay. is a discontinued or deprecated words, you know, in Portuguese. Oh. But it's the same. We understand very well, no? Okay, that makes sense. Yes. But, um, but I think you, what, what about you? you? Where are you from? Or where are you? Where are you? Are, are, uh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I'm sorry. Where, where are you live? Where are you living? Mm-hmm. Um, I am living in the United States. I'm from the United States. I was born in the capital, and I live near here now. Capital? Mm-hmm. In Washington, Washington D.C. Washington. Yes. So we, what what happened? I just see. I I just are following by television, you know. But uh, what happened in elections? Uh, in in, um, in fact, uh, Biden are elected or no? Yes, Biden is the president elect. Uh, so they are considered president elect until they are confirmed. The confirmation is in January. Um, yes, so yes. nothing really changes until January. Um, yeah, but he won. Yes. Um, Trump is upset, so he's suing. <laughs> uh, I don't know what that means. Um, but usually, after a president is elected during the election, they have a transition team. So the old president and the new president, they come together, their teams talk, and they make a plan for starting the new year. Um, Mm -hmm. Trump has refused to allow Biden's team to start. So uh, I don't really know what's happening right now. (laughs) It's crazy, it's crazy. It's crazy. I, ne- I never see, I never saw it before. For example, in Brazil, if you, if you lose, you lose, you know. Uh, but in Brazil, we have an electronic electronic vo- vote, you know. You yeah. We have paper like, like yours, you know. We and have so, both. So, I'm sorry? We have both. We have electronic, we have paper, and we have mail-in. Ah, yes. But you voted. Do you voted... Uh, in paper or le- electronic? I voted electronically. No, but you have to go to one location to vote electronically. Ah, yes, yes. Here, here is is in this way. You know, yeah. I need to go until a uh, college and vote yeah. electronic. But the computed or the the totally, you know, the process yeah. totally the votes is electronic. Is just electronic. You know. Okay. 
Yeah, mm -hmm. some people, because of the pandemic this year, especially, you could vote from home. You fill out a paper and then you mail it in. But if you go to the location, it's very normal to have like really long lines. So they give you an option of what line you want to wait in. So I voted electronically, but it's it was a longer line. If you wanted to vote by paper, it's very short. Yes, I understand. Mm -hmm. So we have both. Yeah. Yes, it's interesting. But this situation to, to totally, again, the votes is different, you know? And uh, in Brazil, it it not never happened, you know. That never happened before. What's never happened? Uh, recount the votes, you know. Recount the votes. Oh, it happens all the time. Recounts are common for elections. Mm -hmm. um, I, yeah, it's common for us. But that wasn't the problem. No recounts have started. Um, we just had more people that voted in the history of elections. Mm -hmm. So. That's why it took longer. And because more people were voting by mail. Okay. And mail took longer this year. I understand, I understand. So, it's okay. And so, I have some questions uh, about English because my grammar, like you are seeing, not, not so good, but I try to speak. In general, I, I, I have, uh, I can communicate you know but i don't i don't have confidence to to speak or to to meet confident. i'm sorry really you're not confident you seem very confident to me no i don't have for example uh, i have fear to to do meetings you know in my mm -hmm. in my company because i have fear to don't understand some parts of the meetings and uh, you know it's a problem for me but this year i am trying to 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 learn english or to learn english more stronger uh, since uh, january you know this i i i am trying to to learn english a long time but mm -hmm. this year i am studying every day you know i have personal teacher two times by week and i study uh, in cambly or on cambly two times by week you know and i i felt that I improved my English this year, you know. Uh, I am trying more. Uh, I freeze it just sometimes, you know. And yeah. I try to to retalk or to re re rebuild my my phrase, you know. But I know that I use my words in wrong in, in wrong sentence, you know. For example, I I realize it that you don't use the same words for me, for me, you know? I use uh, just simple words, but whatever, okay, it's okay for me. But uh, I have some questions. Uh, you understand what I said uh, very well, you can- I do. Yes? For, for the person that's listening to you, it depends on their experience with non-native speakers. For most Americans, if you come to America and someone has never met someone from another country, which is very common here, although we have people from everywhere. If someone's never met someone from another country, a non-native speaker, they will have more difficulty understanding you. I work with non-native speakers all day. I understand everything you're saying. Oh, okay. You I don't have any problems. Yes. No. Um, one thing I would recommend is if you are used to practicing conversation on Cambly, I would change it a little bit so you're practicing grammar and conversation just so you can find ways to improve. Because if you're, if you find you're making the same mistakes over and over, then you wanna see, okay, why am I making these mistakes? How can I correct it? If you're not learning how you can correct it and why you're making those mistakes, you're not really going to improve your grammar. Okay. It's a good if you're just having conversation and you hear the tutor making some changes from what you say, but you don't remember those for the next time that you say it, it's not really helping you with your grammar. No, it's a good tip. When I start the class, I can choose the the the, the options to correct each uh, words I know. Mm -hmm. okay. And yours says correct me only after serious mistakes, but also you want to change the type of lessons you're having. Yeah. So if you usually come on and you just ask questions, that's good, but that's not helping you with your grammar. That's mm -hmm. more so going to help you with your confidence. Perfect. And if the tutor says an, a word that you're not understanding that can help you with your vocabulary, but then you need to make sure you're stopping the tutor. Hey, 
you used a word that was new for me. What does that word mean? How do I use this? Can you give me more examples of how to say this word in conversation? Or, hey, I heard that you changed what you said from how I said it. Why did you change it? What does that mean? Okay, perfect, perfect. It's a good, it's a good tip. I will do that in next class, next lessons, uh, for sure. I need to improve, and it's a good tip. But uh, I did a lesson with another teachers, and in general, I just try to to speak or to listen. You know, it's for me. It's a good. It's it's it, just it is good. You yeah. know, because in Brazil, uh, just five percent of people speak English. You know, in general. Oh, wow. Uh, yes, I can't. I can't opportunity to speak English in in normal days, you know. Okay. It's it's very bad. But when when the words, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Ah, okay. When when words back to normal, uh, maybe I will to travel to USA and and I will to to try speak more, no? Yeah. Um, different things are going to help you improve different skills, right? So speaking is good, but speaking is going to help you build your confidence. Speaking is going to help you understand people's pronunciation. If you're meeting um, different people across the United States, we have different accents. So you'll get to understand the different accents, but that is not going to help you with your grammar. Perfect. So I usually, under, I usually ask students, what are your goals? Why are you using Cambly? What specifically do you want to improve? And then I can give you recommendations for what you're trying to improve. If you're trying to improve your grammar and um, making speaking correctly, then having a conversation is not going to help you improve your grammar. Perfect, perfect, good tip, good tip. Yes, uh, you're doing more reading than anything else. But your English, you know that your English is very is very soft for me. You know, you you are Amer are you American? Are, yes, uh, American age. Because when I speak with American teachers, uh, I I I feel your your accent very strong. You know, uh, um, your... it depends on where you're from. We have a lot of different accents across the United States. Okay. So I'm from the East Coast. I was born in the capital. I was born in Washington, D.C. So here, so it's mm -hmm. not like a heavy accent from New York, New Jersey, from Chicago, from Florida. It's not one of those accents. It's very neutral, easier for everyone to understand. Yes. Like the type of accent that you hear on most TV shows or actors and actresses speaking. That's my accent. Perfect. So that's why you don't hear like something really strong, like a Texas where they talk more like this. Yeah, I don't have that. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Sometimes I speak with some people that have a uh, English, uh, a little, how can I say, uh, stronger. Yes, serves, you know, serves, serves. I understand in Portuguese, serves, you know, with, uh, uh, I know that it's not uh, right, but it's different in Portuguese, you know. But your English is very interesting. But sometimes I speak with German people too, and German is water, water, water. Yeah, yeah, they have like a British accent over there. They in Europe, they mostly teach British English. So if you talk to anyone from Germany, Ireland, Scottish, uh, Welsh, all of those people are going to speak closer to British English. Yes, yes, perfect. But your your tip today is very good for me. I will. Good. Yeah, can you hear me? Good. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I I will try to 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 request it where teacher can correct me my my grammar, and I will I will improve. Yeah. Go. My main goal to next year is to improve my grammar. No. Good. Yeah. Yes. It's good. It's good. And I need to speak more. There is, there are. I I mm -hmm. use I use uh, I have I have for all, you know. But mm -hmm. I, I I I realize that you use more. There is, there are, you know. But okay, it's it's pressed. Rafael, it was nice to meeting you today. Bye bye. Thank you. You're bye welcome. bye. Bye.